Hello, good evening, people. Hello. Hello. Good evening, Miss. Miguel, Luis, Alejandra. Hello, everybody. Okay, Miguel, now you are at home. That's great. Okay, you are not. I think. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Finally, okay, at home to take the class. Excellent. Well, guys, uh, we are now in the class number 11. Can you imagine? You are missing only uh, five more classes and then you will be finished the model number one. That's great. How do you feel about that? You almost finished the model number one. Isn't that great? It's great, right? And you almost finish the model one. Uh, can you see the the presentation? Yes. Okay, that's good. Um, we are going to study present progressive. We are going to study present progressive um, statements and also questions. This is class 11, Thursday, November 17, 2022. So thank you for connecting to the class. Okay, guys, um, the, the objectives we have, by the end of this class, you will be able to form statements using the present continuous, and you will be able to form just no questions in the present continuous tense. Okay, so we're gonna be studying that. Present progressive or continuous. Okay, and now it's time, it's time to take the attendance. It's time to say present teacher or here teacher, okay? Okay, we're going to start with Alejandra Sofia Vasquez. Present teacher. Present. <laughs> Thank you, Alejandra. Carmen Sánchez Montoya. Ana Sánchez. Sánchez Magaña. Ah. ah, yes, yes. Ana del Carmen Sánchez Magaña. Yes, you are right. I was, I was wrong. Okay. Eh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Ana. Brian Ismael Claros. Present teacher. Thank you, Brian. Give me a moment. Give me a moment, please. Teacher, apagó el micrófono. Sorry, guys, I had an, um, something. Okay, Carmen Leonor Trejo. Is she? Okay, thank you, Carmen. Diego Ismael Siquina. Diego Ismael. Elvis Giovanni Bonilla. Present. Thank you, Elvis. Okay. Uh, Jacqueline Vanessa Garcia. Present. Jacqueline Carolina Ávila. Um, no está Jacqueline Carolina. No, verdad. Ok. Jenny Lizard Valiente. Jessica Virginia Rosales. Teacher. Thank you. Jimmy Flores. Hi, teacher. I am here. Ok, that's great. José Alejandro Valladares. Present. Thank you, José. José Osvaldo Reyes Durán. Present, teacher. Thank you. Crisia Lorena Ríos. Lorena de Los Ángeles Menjiva. Present. Thank you, Luis Ernesto Cibrián Montoya. Present, teacher. Okay, Luis. Luis José Guardado. Present, teacher. Manuel Edgardo 
Martínez. Margarita Beatriz Mancía. Presente. Gracias, Margarita. María José Navarro Mengíbar. Teacher, viene en el bus. Ok, she's on the way, she's on the way. Okay. Okay, okay. Marlene de Jesús Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Wilfredo, Wilber Alfredo. Miguel Ángel Meléndez. Present, Miss. Miguel, Mirna Yanet Rivas. Mirna is not connected today. Natalie Cristina. Presente, teacher. You. Hortensia Stephanie. Hortensia Stephanie Rivera Molina. Bueno, ahí la vemos, pero ok. Yes, Natalie, I received it. Ok, don't worry. Eh, Oscar Lisandro Rivera. Is not in the class. Ok. Yeah. Yes, Margarita. Dice Lisandro de que la red no le sirve. Ah, tiene problemas de internet, ok. Ojalá que pueda conectarse. Ok, so let's get started with our class. And um, we are going to start by looking at this picture. Who is she? Can you tell me who is she? Who is she? Is a song. Shakira. She is Shakira, yes. She has been very popular lately, right? Very popular. Shakira. Okay, what, um, tell me, what is she wearing? What are the clothes that she is wearing? Alejandra casi no sale. Okay, she's wearing a jacket. Uh, wearing a um, blouse. She's wearing a blouse. A blouse and pants. And pants, black pants. Black pants. She's wearing a boot. She's wearing a pair of boots, black boots. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is, who is he? Do you know? Maluma. <laughs> Maluma baby. <laughs> ah, no, you know who he is. Okay, and what is he wearing? He's wearing a suit. He's wearing a black suit. Black suit. What else? Um, more details. More, more details about his clothes and accessories. He is a wearing. Sunglasses. He is wearing sunglasses. Okay. He is wearing a black tie. Yes, he is wearing a black tie. Yes, a tie. A white shirt. Camisa blanca, white shirt. And what does he have here? Watch, creo que se dice, watch. Yes, watch. He's wearing a watch. He's wearing some watch. He's wearing a white shirt, a black tie, a black suit, and e an earring. An earring, right? He's wearing an earring. <laughs> okay, very nice. And the other person, who is she? Yalo. She is yellow, and what is she wearing? She's wearing a red dress. Yes, a red dress. Uh, she's um, wearing a ring, right? Or two rings, She is wearing two rings. One in each hand. One in each hand. She's wearing rings, red dress, and what do you call this? The shoes, the type of shoes. High, say high heels, exactly. She's wearing high heels. High, high heels. And 
a paid off. She's wearing a paid off. A paid off. She's wearing a pair of earrings, earrings, okay? Earrings, rings, watch, sunglasses, etc. Bracelet, pulsera, bracelet. Okay, so those are the different uh, accessories and clothes, excellent. So that, those are the clothes that these people are wearing. Welcome, Maria Jose. Okay, do you remember that class in which we learned about clothes and also the seasons? As class, we learned the seasons. Do you remember the four seasons? The four seasons? Who would like to say? ¿Quién le gustaría decir? The four seasons. Weather seasons. Winter. Me. Okay, Alejandra. Uh -huh, Alejandra, what happened? Fall. Okay, Lorena, thank you. Fall. Spring. Uh, it's okay. video. Um, Loren, continue, please. Okay. And um, summer, fall, winter, spring. Exactly. Thank you. The four seasons: summer, spring, fall, winter. Okay. Very nice. So, in each season, we wear different clothes. Cuando hablamos de ropa y de accesorios, utilizamos el verbo wear. No usamos el verbo use, de usar cosas. I use my cell phone. I use my pencil to write. I use my computer to teach. But when it's about clothes, accessories, we use the verb wear. Ahí se los puse en el chat. Wear. Entonces, I wear, um, in winter, the weather is cold, so I wear a sweater, pants, boots, socks, scarf, etc. When it's summer, it's very hot, I use shorts, tops, a, a cap. Sunglasses, sandals, etc. Okay, so over here we have a conversation. It's called, it's very cold. We, it's a conversation between Pat and Julie. I would like two people, two volunteers to read the conversation. Do we have two people, volunteers to read the conversation in front of the class? Alejandra, Sofía. Alejandra, okay, it's okay. Alejandra, and she needs a partner. Ella necesita una compañera o compañero. She needs a partner. Let's see who? Miguel, okay, Miguel. So you start, Alejandra. Lights, camera, action. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Again. Lights, okay. camera, action. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowy and it's very cool. Are you wearing uh, your gloves? No, they they are at home. Well, you're wearing your coat? But my coat isn't war no sé, war and I am not wearing boots. 
Okay, let's get a taxi. Let's let's take a taxi. A taxi. Thanks, Julie. Teacher, how do you pronounce war? War. Yes, but my isn't warm. Warm. Okay, warm. Gracias. Okay, thank you. Very nice. Thank you, Miguel and Alejandra, for your participation. So, what is the problem? Or what's the matter? Miguel? Uh, I don't know. In, what's the problem uh, of... Ah, uh, 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 it, it's uh, demasiado cool. Demasiado frío. It's very cold. It's very, 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 very cool. Uh -huh. Yes. And they don't have the adequate... The clothes. Exactly, the clothes. Uh, yes. Those conditions, right? The... Uh, the, the coat is not warm, she's not wearing boots, right? And she's not wearing gloves, so it's very cold. Okay, so as you notice, están hablando del presente, están hablando del pasado o del futuro. Present. Yeah, exactly. It's the present. ¿Y es el presente en general o es un, algo que está sucediendo en el momento? Something happening in the moment. Having the moment. In the moment, exactly. It's happening in this moment. Okay, so the present continuous is used to describe something that is happening in the moment, right now, in this moment. Para decir algo que está pasando en este momento. Ahorita. Okay, we have some examples. For example, I am teaching an online class. What am I doing in this moment? ¿Qué estoy haciendo en este momento? What am I doing in this moment? I am teaching an online class. I am speaking English. And you are listening to me. You are listening to me. You are paying attention. You are taking notes. You are studying and learning about the present continuous. My husband is working in this moment. He's working in the car because he's fixing the car. My mom is cooking the lunch for tomorrow. It is not raining right now. It is not raining. No está lloviendo en este momento. Uh, you are, we, aquí se me movió un poquito. Okay, we are using a computer or cell phone to have the class. Right? What are you using? A computer or a cell phone? A cell phone. A cell phone. A cell phone? Okay. So we are using a computer or a cell phone to have the class. You are paying attention to the teacher and the children are studying in the school. Well, not in this moment, right? The children are watching TV maybe. Or... Yes, or they are having dinner. We're gonna change that because in this moment, the children are, the children are um, playing. The children are playing. Okay. 
So as you notice, what is the formula or what is the structure of present continuous? We have the subject, el sujeto. Then we have the verb to be. The verb to be is am, um, is, are. We use the verb to be I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, you are, they are. And then we need a verb, but in the ing form, teaching, learn, learning, work, working, cook, cooking, rain, raining, use, using, pay, paying, and play, pledging. So we use the ing form of the verb and the complement. An, on, an online class about the present continuous in this moment, the launch, to have the class, to the teacher, etc. So that is the formula or the structure of the present continuous. We can also use the contractions. For example, I am, um, in the negative form, I'm not. You're, you're not, or you aren't. She's wearing shoes. She's not wearing sandals. She isn't wearing boots. We're, we're not, or we aren't. They're, they are not, or they aren't. It's snowing, it's not snowing, it isn't raining. So these are the contracted forms that we can use. Okay, here you see conjunctions. ¿Qué son las conjunctions? Palabras que unen. For example, it's snowing and it's very cold. Está nevando y está muy helado. Tenemos dos oraciones que las unimos con esta conjunción. En, en, I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. Eh, llevo un abrigo, o llevo puesto un abrigo, pero, but, pero no estoy usando botas. Ok, but. Es una conjunción también, ¿no? une dos oraciones, pero esta oración, esta palabra expresa contraste. I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. Mm -hmm. But, significa, pero, pero, okay. pero, okay, <laughs> good, so now we have here, this is the present continuous for questions, the structure is easy, we just have to switch or move or change the position of the verb to be. In questions, the verb to be goes first. Then we have the subject. Then we have the verb in the ing form and the complement. Lo único que va a cambiar es el orden del verbo. En las oraciones, afirmativas o negativas, primero va el sujeto y después el verbo to be. En este caso de las preguntas, primero va a ir el verbo to be. Luego el sujeto y luego seguimos con el verbo y el complemento. Are you wearing a watch? No, I'm not. Or, yes, I am. Am I wearing a necklace? Am I wearing a necklace? Estoy usando un collar. You can say, yes, you are. Or, no, you aren't. Is Jose? Is Jose cooking lunch? No, he's not. Is Lillian listening to music? No, she isn't. Entonces, no sé, ¿tenemos preguntas sobre esto? Present continuous, present progressive. Oh. 
Ok, do we continue? Continuamos? Well, let's make some questions, ok? I will ask you some questions, ok? Luis Galdames, are you wearing glasses? Perdón, perdón. Ya yo no he entendido mucho una de las dos partes. Okay, the question, are you wearing glasses? And that lentes? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay, very good. Yes, I am. Jacqueline, what is your question? Or your comment? Hola. Eh, hola. Yo tengo una pregunta. Yes. Este, por ejemplo, nosotros, bueno, ayer este, creo que estuvieron subiendo unas fotografías al grupo de WhatsApp donde preguntaban sobre el yes y el no, sobre la respuesta. Este, por ejemplo, en el video que muestra la plataforma, como lo que está mostrando acá por el momento, ahí después del no, tiene una coma. Entonces en la plataforma, eh, no sé si, si solo fui yo la que estaba poniendo la coma después de eso, pero este, o sea, yo puse la coma tal cual el video lo estaba enseñando y tal cual se mira en la imagen. Pero cuando ya le daba como para ponerlo, para revisar si estaba bien, me salía que estaba mal. Y al final pues me di cuenta que no lleva la la coma después del yes o el no entonces esa es mi pregunta porque cuando vamos a saber eh, cuando lleva la coma y cuando no si sí la lleva, ahí el ejercicio es que se lo tomaba así pero Ajá, esa, esa, debería esa. ahí es un error del ejercicio Miguel sí porque la verdad por eso le salía mal, a usted lo estaba haciendo bien, pero en el ejercicio se lo, se lo pedí. Era mi pregunta, nada más. Sí, ok. Miguel. Eh, con respecto a eso, mis, este, hay otra cosa que nos dijeron igual con la plataforma, que daba error a veces. Y este, lo, lo mismo sucedía con las respuestas cortas del, 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 del yes o no que por ejemplo al final había que algunas que agregarle el punto y a otras no se le agregaba el punto directamente, aunque la respuesta estuviera correcta. Sí, a veces son esas pequeñas cositas uh -huh. que le salen, pero tienen la opción de volverlo a hacer. Tienen la opción de hacerlo muchas veces hasta que le salga bien. <ríe> sí, pero puede ser un poquito confuso, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero no, no se preocupen. Elvis tiene una pregunta. Sí, lo que pasa, la, uh, hace tiempo también yo preguntaba eso, que, que si había alguna forma de nosotros poder como saber en qué había estado el error, porque a mí me pasó con una, bueno, me estaba pasando con una respuesta de que por error le había dado, le daba una doble espacio y, y estaba bien escrita, pero me aparecía que estaba mala, entonces yo decía, y porque no se nota acá si que le había dado otra cosa. En unas eh, se ocupa, ¿cómo se llama? En una, por ejemplo, constra construcción, no sé cómo se llama. Fraction. Y en otras no. Y es, Ajá, y es prácticamente lo mismo, pero aparece malo. Ah, sí. Por eso es bueno leer bien las instrucciones. A veces la instrucción le dice que no use signo de puntuación o dice use contracciones o no use contracciones entonces hay que fijarnos siempre en las instructions en las instructions okay? okay gracias good so let's go over we have more the, um, more examples we have a statement and just no question the statement is I am eating just no question am I eating no, you aren't. Negative form, I am not eating. You're crying. Are you crying? No, I'm not. Negative, you are not crying. He is going. Question, 
Is he going? Yes, he is. Negative. He's not going. She is arriving. Is she arriving? No, she's not. She's not arriving. The negative form. It is sleeping. Is it sleeping? Yes, it is. Negative form. It is not sleeping. We are leaving. Are we leaving? No, we aren't. We are not leaving. They are arguing. Are they arguing? No, they aren't. They are not arguing. So we have the statement affirmative. We have the question form and we have the negative form. Remember, subject, verb to be, verb the ing form. Plus the complement. We have some rules when we use the spelling rules for the ing verbs. Vaya, hay verbos, por ejemplo, en los que solamente le vamos a agregar ing. ing. A la mayoría de los verbos solo le vamos a agregar ing. Walk, walking, eat, eating. Los que terminen con e, le vamos a quitar la e y le vamos a poner ing. Dance, dancing. Right, writing. Ven, le quitamos la E, le ponemos ahí en G. Uh, hay verbos que son de una sílaba, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Están en la fórmula consonant, vowel, consonant. Consonant R, vowel U, consonant N. ¿Qué hacemos en este caso? We double the last consonant. Doblamos la última consonante and we add ING. Run, running, get, getting. Verbs that end in Y, como study, solo le vamos a agregar el ING. Play, play. Study, study. Cry, cry. Solo le vamos a agregar el ING. Verbos que tienen dos sílabos, pero eh, que se les doble la última consonante, como begin, beginning. Si la última sílabo está... Eh, Enfatizada en que se pronuncia ahora. Begin. This is beginning. We double the end. Verbs that end in IE. Los verbos que terminan en IE. We change the IE to I and add ING. Die. Dying. Tie. Tying. Lie. Lying. Tenemos aquí este. Estos verbos. A ver. Si me los pueden escribir en el chat. The cop, cause me a com. The spelling of in the ing form. Vamos a ver. Vamos a preguntar a Leonor. Com, ¿cómo sería, Leonor? Coming. Exactly. How do you spell it? Huh? How do you spell coming? Lo pueden hacer en su cuaderno. Uh -huh. How do you spell C O M I N G, right? Coming. Okay, what about do? Osvaldo? In the ING form, do? ¿Le ayudamos a Osvaldo? Do. do doing. Vamos, ING. ING. Uh, doing. Ajá. Doing. Drink. Drinking. 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 Drive. Driving. Driving. Yes. Today, Miguel is not driving. Miguel is not driving today. Um, eat. Eating. eating. Maria Jose is eating. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Fall. Fall. Falling. Falling. Yes. Mm -hmm. Getting. 
get, ah, but in this case, I double the last T. Okay. Double T. Double T, yes, get, getting. Getting. Give, giving. Giving. Okay, go. Going. 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 Have. Having. Having. Ah, esta termina con E. Entonces le quito la E en I add ING. Prefer. Preferring. Prefer. Oh. Yes, prefer. Preferring. In case we double the last R. Preferring. Make. Making. Making. Read. Reading. Reading. Buy. Buying. Buying. Sell. Selling. Selling. Sing. Singing. Singing. Sit. Sitting. Double T. Double T. Are you sitting on a chair? On the sofa. Ah, you're sitting on the sofa. Don't fall asleep, Jacqueline. Okay. <laughs> Almost. Almost. Sleeping. Who is sleeping in this moment? Let me see who's sleeping. My baby. Oh. <laughs> Who is sleeping? Alejandra mejor encendió la cámara. Okay. <laughs> That's good, Alejandra. Okay, Alejandra is not sleeping. No, no, she's paying attention. Okay. Um, what about speak? Speaking. Speaking. Are you speaking English? Just a little bit. But yes, you are. Okay, swim. Swimming. Double M, right? Double M. Double M. Swimming. Uh, take taking taking are you taking an English class? Yes, we are. Okay, think thinking thinking. Okay, where wearing wearing write writing 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 writing. No, it's not necessary. Right. Not necessary. Okay, right. Time? Time. Yes, time. Atar. Carmen? Eh, ¿Cómo voy a saber cuando una palabra va a llevar doble? Por ejemplo, el swim lleva doble M. El. el Sitting lleva doble T, pero no todas las palabras llevan doble um, letra. Sí. Hay forma de identificar cuáles llevan una. Y les mencionaba yo en la rule number three. Rule number three. One syllable verbs en consonant and vowel consonant. Cuando el verbo es de una sílaba y es una sílaba en inglés es por la pronunciación. Entonces, en este caso, es lleva consonante vocal y consonante. Entonces, voy a, do, voy a duplicar la última consonante, en este caso, la I. Ah. En este caso, igual de get, de swim también, porque swim, ¿cuántas sílabas hay en swim? Una. Solo una, y, y termina en consonante vocal y consonante. Entonces, en okay. este caso, Igual okay. si es IT, consonant, bajo y consonant. Pero no pasa lo mismo, por ejemplo, en selling or sin. Sin es una sílaba, pero lleva, termina en vocal, oh, consonante, consonante. Uh -huh. No le vamos a agregar otra consonante, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá. Y en el caso de write, cuando hay algunos que son... Dos sílabas y se le dobla la última consonante cuando, cuando la última sílaba eh, 
tiene una, fuert una pronunciación fuerte. Por ejemplo, prefer, prefer. Entonces, la mayor fuerza de voz, ¿a dónde está? ¿En pre o en fur? En fur. Entonces, en este caso, sí. Prefer, prefer. Right, no. Le right la lleva en la primera. Right. Uh -huh. right. Uh -huh. right. Pero son pocas, así que no le va a costar mucho. Ok, gracias. Pay. 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 Right. Writing. Writing. And say. 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 Okay. I hope you finished. Espero que hayan terminado de escribirlas. Okay. Thank you for your participation. Okay. So these are the general rules for the spelling of the ING verbs. Okay. It's time to practice, guys. Y ahora, están otra vez las reglas aquí. Les puedo enviar esta, esta, esto para que lo tengan. This, I want to send this picture to you. The general rules. We add ing to the end of a verb, it eating, go, going, read, reading, verbs ending in w, x or y, don't double the last letter, okay, for example, snow, snowing, fix, fixing, play, playing, well, I mean, this is on excepciones también, aunque okay, terminan en consonant, vowel, consonant, but we don't double, because they end in W, in X, and in Y. Pero terminan en estas tres vocales, eh, consonantes, ¿verdad? You don't double the last letter. The last, ah, the last letter. Verbs ending in consonant plus E, we drop the E or remove the E and add ing. Dance, dancing, write, writing, write, writing. Verbs ending in IE, we remove the IE and we add Y ing. Die, dying, lie, lying, like Pinocchio, and tie, tying. Son las excepciones. Oh, the rules. We have more. Okay, the verbs with the structure consonant, vowel consonant, we double the last consonant. Cut, cutting, run, running, stop, stopping. Consonant plus vowel plus letter L. Bueno, en algunos se dobla la última L. Equal, equaling. Travel, traveling, control, controlling. Este es especialmente en British English. Okay. In American English, sometimes it's not. You don't have to. Last syllable is not a stress. Two or more syllables in final syllable is not a stress. Do, do not double final letter. Es lo que les estaba explicando, ¿verdad? Como happen. Happening, open, opening, visit, visiting. Como la primer sílaba es la que tiene mayor fuerza de voz, no la última, no se tiene que agregar otra al final. Cuando la última sílaba sí tiene mayor fuerza de voz, entonces sí se dobla la última. Begin, beginning, forget, forgetting, submit, submitting. En este caso, sí agregamos otra consulta. Igual se las voy a enviar. Pero ya van a ver que cuando ustedes estén haciendo los ejercicios, no se les va a hacer difícil. Y aquí hay más. Pero ya, ya está bien explicado. Ok. 
look at this picture and tell me what these people are doing. Can you this can you say what each person is doing? For example, George. What is George doing? George reading. Reading. George reading the newspaper. Exactly. Entonces vamos a escribir. George is reading the reading the news, a newspaper. Ya está ahí el complemento. Okay. Number two, Frank. Watching TV. Uh, watching. Watching. Watching or Frank is watching. Is. Frank is watching TV. Is watching. Is watching TV. Yes, it's important to use the verb. Don't forget. Julie are eating. Is eating. Is eating. Julie is eating. So, Liz are. Ah, excellent. Are playing table tennis. Why are? Porque son dos. Exactly, it's plural. So and Liz are playing table tennis. Rita, where is Rita? Rita. Here. Combing, combing. Combing. Rita is combing. Her hair, combing. Está peinando su cabello, combing. Alison is listening. Is listen, listening. listening to the radio. Barbara. Barbara is writing, writing. a letter. Writing. writing a letter, exactly. Caroline is drawing. Looking, drawing. Mm -mm. Caroline, this is Caroline. Ah, okay. Sitting. ¿Cómo está viendo? Table is sitting. Está sentada por la mesa. Is sitting by the table. And is drawing. Drawing. Mm. Painting. 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 A picture. And Rick is it's coming. Working. Or getting. Getting into the room. Getting into the room. Okay. Getting into the room. Excellent. You can describe what the people are doing in the mall. Painting no, uh, no lleva double C. No. Painting. Ajá. No. Para llevar la fuerza, la, la, la fuerza en la primera, en la primera sílaba. Paint. Paint. Mm -hmm. okay. En ese caso no. Luis Ibria. Hola, teacher. Buenas noches. Eh, una consulta eh, a la hora de, de, digamos, pronunciar lo que son cada una de las oraciones, se puede se podría omitir, eh, y es un ejemplo, porque al inicio yo dije Jorge Reading y me comí lo que fue el is, pero en la forma gramatical es incorrecto, pero ya al decirlo, eh, podría decirlo, o bueno, lo correcto sería George is reading a newspaper. Ah, ok. Yes, that is the correct form. Si, ah, okay. si quiero, podría contactarlo como George Reading a los Paper. Cuando lo. Cuando George. Lo, uh, George. Ajá, como George Reading a los ah, okay. Frank's Watching TV. Julie's eating pizza. Julie's are playing table tennis. Rita's coming here, here. Pero esa tiene que ser la estructura. Sujeta, verbo. Ok. El verbo in the ING Gracias. Muy amable. Gracias. Another example. 
Okay, we have here um, people in the park, people in the park, and we have the different activities. We have here the keys, tenemos las, las, las claves para hacer la oración. Por ejemplo, number two, ¿cómo sería? John is uh, John. apple. John, exactly. John is eating an apple. And what is John here in the picture? Is letter? Is he from off uh, the bus? Uh -huh. Is letter? I. G. I. I is letter A. Exactly. Okay, number three. She is uh, sleeping. She is sleeping. Sleeping. Ah, she is sleeping. Sleep. Sleeping. And that's letter. Letter F. F. Letter F. Okay. Number four. They are having a breakfast. They are having. Are having. They are having. They are having, are having, they are having breakfast. They are having breakfast, and that's G. G. Like the letter G. Number five. Anne Anne is waiting for the bus. For the bus. Yes, Anne is waiting for the bus, and that is picture H. Exactly. Number six. Your is riding a bike. A bike. Your is riding a bike. Letter B. Seven. It is raining. It is raining. It is raining. No tiene que poner pero pues no llevan article before so it is it is raining letter 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 okay uh, number eight The policemen are arresting. Okay, the policemen are arresting. Arrest a thief. Yeah, thief. A thief. Están arrestando un ladrón o un mañoso, right? <laughs> the policemen are arresting a thief. Mañoso. Okay, number nine. The man... Is fishing. Fish. fishing. Yes, the man is fishing. Oh, the policemen are, are arresting a thief. Is letter e. e. And the man is fishing. Is letter D. E. E. Exactly. Very good, people. Congratulations. It was perfect. That can be difficult. It's not that difficult. Ahora, me gustaría que me escriban or, o me digan oraciones de qué está haciendo su familia. What is your family doing in this moment? What is your family doing in this moment? My mother is sleeping. Oh, my <laughs> My. Okay, Alejandra, Alejandra. It can be affirmative or negative. Okay. Yes, Alejandra. My sister is eating. Your sister is eating. Okay, Lorena. My husband is watching TV. 
Yeah, we can hear. <laughs> we can hear that he's watching TV. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Luis Cibrian, my family are watching, my family is. My family is watching TV. Okay. My sister is playing. Jessica's sister is playing. ¿Cómo se dice estoy meciendo al bebé? Oh, I'm swimming the baby. Swinging, swinging, swinging the baby. I'm swinging the baby. My husband is preparing the dinner. Nice, Margarita. Is preparing dinner. My husband is feeding the baby. Y mi hermana está dando de comer a los perros. ¿Cómo sería? Es el mascotas. Voy a poner aquí. El verbo es feed. Significa dar de comer o alimentar. Feed. Feed. My mother is cooking. My brother is studying. A ver, Luis Caldames. Studying. ¿Qué faltó ahí? El verbo es study. Solo le vamos a agregar ing. Study. A ver, eh, Jacqueline Vanessa, it's the verb look. Look. Look at. Look at. Outside. My sister is sleeping. My family is eating. Usamos el is con la family porque mi familia está. Mi familia es un sustantivo colectivo. Entonces decimos my family is eating. No decimos mi familia están comiendo. No. Mi familia está comiendo. Ok, what else, what else? My son is cleaning his room. Okay, good boy. Okay, Jacqueline Vanessa, my dog is looking at outside. Okay. <laughs> Jimmy? My wife is um, exercising. Is exercising. Is exercising. My wife is exercising. Oh, eh, eh, oh, Jeaning, no sé. Eh, no, se le cortó. Yes, exercise, no lo creo. Osvaldo, my Osvaldo. wife is studying. Okay. We are studying English, okay? Marlene? Your example, Marlene? Your example, Jessica, Ana, Hortensia? My family is parking. Parking, gracias. Se dice fiesta. Ana is having a party. Party. Having is, my family is having a party. Tienen una fiesta, is having a party. Or they are partying, pero it's better. It's having a party. My family is having a party. Okay. Well, I'll tell you, my husband is fixing the car. I hope it works tomorrow. <laughs> To go to the work. My husband is fixing the car. Está reparando o arreglando el carro, ¿ok? More examples, please. Brian, Hortensia. My wife is uh, feeding uh, the dog. Ok, your wife is feeding the dog. Yes, it's important because they need to eat. <laughs> ok, very good. Jessica, my brother is sleeping. Good. So, what did you learn in this class? ¿Qué aprendimos en esta clase? This evening. To describe actions in... Actions in... Present. 
in present continuous, okay? Happening in this moment. Right now, okay? So, thank you guys for connecting to your English class. Tomorrow, Friday, we have class. So please connect and please advance in the platform, okay? Advance in the platform. Tomorrow we are going to continue with this topic, but I will send you a homework so you can practice. But the most important is that you advance in the platform because uh, tomorrow um, the person in charge is going to check, okay, your progress and is going to send a report. So please advance in the platform. And when you finish, you can do the other homework. Primero hagan la plataforma y cuando terminen la plataforma, hagan la otra tarea. Okay? Okay, have a good night. Sweet dreams. Rest well. Go with dream to teacher. Thank you, you too. Good night. Good night, Miss. Good night, everyone. Good night, teacher.